As usual, before you start, you gotta talk to a bunch of people and gain access to the Twisted Marsh. But wait, there's more. Keep going back to the quest menu and actually start the quest to get credit for your runs. Myself, Agent Smith, and several of my guildmates have done this boss now over a dozen times and I feel pretty confident in making this video. Just to be clear, we failed almost as many times, so make sure to be patient with people. This boss has a steep learning curve. I'm going to run through the before stuff real quick so we can get to the gameplay. Most importantly, you are going to need healing and cleansing monsters. Top picks are Lulu, Annabelle, Juno, and Shushu. For damage dealers, pretty much anything will do, but Argon, Segment, Theomars, Lupinus are by far some of your best picks. Argon because he's broken, Segment because she steals back buffs and applies defense breaks, plus does big damage. Theomars, Lupinus, and Astar are all great single target DPS units. Most people are running healer plus two damage dealers. But for a safer run, I would suggest one party member take two healers, like Annabelle and Lulu or Sushu. I also really like Juno because she cleanses all the debuffs off of one monster or summoner. This boss tends to stack quite a few debuffs, so Juno being able to heal all of them is pretty strong. Final team comp we were running with these successful runs was this. Team 1, Juno, Sekman, and Argon. Team 2 was Annabelle, Sekman, and Theomars. Team 3 was Annabelle, Helia, and Zera 2. The Zera 2 can be swapped out for any DPS, and Starfallen actually swapped out the Theomars for a Helia at the beginning of the battle. This boss doesn't have a damage check, so every person having a healer like Lulu, Juno, or Annabelle is kind of required. Before we get to the gameplay, here is my argument for why Wusa and Shushu are actually better healers in this particular raid. Having a Wusa or a Shushu I think is best. They both heal and they both provide more immunity. Initially, everyone went into this raid thinking that buffs were bad because the boss would steal them and use them against us. I argue that they are not as bad as you think. The boss only steals a couple of times throughout the fight and they wear off pretty quickly or they're stolen back by your segment. If you soul link an immunity monster like Shushu, you barely have to worry about the poison and bleed, which is by far the biggest thing that kills people in this raid. So in short, I think Shushu is the best healer slash cleanser in this entire raid, mostly because they bring immunity and we never get those debuffs in the first place. If you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments who is the best healer that you are bringing to this raid. All right, we're inside the boss room. If you're a Cleef main, switch from your other weapon to your water weapon for a tack down debuff. Orbias typically should just go with the wind staff, which is always good to land defense breaks, and Kina's water staff is nice for that attack speed buff. This first attack pattern is an inside attack, then very quickly switches to an outside attack. This attack can easily be dodged, but if you get hit by one, it's not too bad. Just have the mana ready to heal up. Hey, Future Topher here. After doing another like 10 runs, we've kind of found that it's a lot better to actually dodge this. Tanking it can be fine, but we end up stacking too much bleed or poison and every now and then we'll still die. At about 90% HP, the boss will do a twirl animation, disappear and reappear. It is important to run to the edge and dodge towards the edge if necessary. She will start spamming small snakes in all directions. Stay near the edge of the boss room to easily avoid the snakes. If any member of your team combined gets hit three times by small snakes, you will get mana cost and damage taken debuff that you can't cleanse for the entire rest of the fight and you will probably lose that fight. The snakes have to hit your summoner to count. For example, if each summoner in your party gets hit once by a snake, then your whole team will get the uncleansable debuff and likely lose the raid. In between the little snake attacks and the ring attacks and other basic attacks, she will be doing some unavoidable flat damage AoE. So just wait for those to hit and heal up again. If you are not fully healed up though, there is a good chance that she one-shots you with the unavoidable AoE damage. The boss applies bleed and poison to you quite often. If there are six stacks of either bleed or poison on you and she does one of these AOE attacks, you will instantly die. I'm, what am I getting one shot from? 
Am I getting the defense break on me or something? Let's watch that again. I'm... What am I getting one shot from? So, if your poison is too high, you need to cleanse it off ASAP. This is yet another reason I am advocating for either two healers from one of your party members or bringing an immunity monster like Shushu or Wusa. At 70% HP, Kylea will transform into a snake and petrify all of your monsters, turning them into stone. She will bite a set of petrified monsters in an AoE attack, but the damage is greatly decreased the more allies that get hit. So every summoner needs to stand inside of the circle of damage with the rest of your team so that way you receive less damage. If you do this, then no one will die and you can immediately heal up. Future Topher here, we found that right before she does the petrification turn you into stone attack, it's a good idea for everyone to back off together and stack together so that way when all of your monsters get pushed back, they get pushed back into a group. We found multiple times that if your monsters get pushed back and they spread out and are also petrified, then the boss will go and bite one of the monsters and it won't be your healer monster and you'll end up losing that monster or killing one of your members. The snake will now chase you around the map, so just run away. No need to attack since you're going to be doing 80% reduced damage anyway. After a couple seconds of running, she will perform a wide area attack, so stay away from the snake. After some more normal attacks, she will then go into a three doors phase. Kylea will appear in one of the three doors and shortly after do a high damage wide area attack in front of the door. This is easy to avoid. Stand in the middle and look at two doors. If you see her, run to the opposite side of her. If you don't see her, run straight ahead. At a certain percent HP, Kylea will start dropping red blood circles on the ground, which will apply a slow movement debuff. Try to get to the edge of the map quickly because she is now sending out those little snakes again, but this time it's much harder. Cleanse off this debuff so that way you can easily dodge the snakes. Towards the end of the fight, she will become much more difficult. This is where your team will likely fail the most. She puts down a bunch of red blood circles and she also does all of her normal attack patterns. You will have to time your heals and cleanses to get the most out of your mana and cooldowns. Finally, around 15% HP, the normal attack patterns will continue, but every 30 seconds she will increase her damage, so try to end it quickly. Just stay near your team, stay out of red pools, and keep topping off your healing after big attacks, and get rid of the poison and bleed damage. I'll say it again, I think Shushu is going to be the best monster for this raid in particular, because if you have that immunity constantly up, you will never get the bleed or the poison debuffs, which is generally what kills teams in the first place. Like everyone else, I watched Storyteller's Twisted Marsh Raid Guide a bunch of times to study up for this video. I have noticed in recent live streams that the Korean servers have jumped onto the immunity train, bringing in Shushu and Wusa to this raid. Like I said on the beginning, on paper this doesn't seem like the greatest combo, but I think the immunity is extremely strong here. By the way, shout out to Storyteller over there, he's been making some amazing content. Rewards in this raid are going to be pretty nice. You're going to get two legendary runes, either a Despair or a Vampire rune, which is a new set of runes. Both of these rune sets, I think, are going to be very popular in PvP, so it'll be important for you to be farming this raid boss. On top of that, you're also going to get a chance to get blacksmith materials and an equipment drop. The weapon gives you more damage from your summoner, and the accessories are the best PvP set of gear we have available. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this guide helps you in the new raid boss. I will leave a full unedited gameplay of the boss at the end so you can watch from start to finish. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or join my Discord. Link is in the description. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, I'm Topher Smurf telling you to keep on gaming. But like, I want to spend all of my time throughout the week doing that and seal and other things like that. And, you know, adds up to maybe two or three hours a week. And then I can just auto everything else.
You switching to Helia made a big difference there. Yeah, I feel like it was a little bit faster. Um, Helia is always, always the difference. Yeah, at least one. But at the same time, I should, I should maybe go. I should maybe go Helia over Segment. Actually, I'm gonna try that. We're gonna do that this run. So what that means is I will have defense break and brand on me all the time. That is, uh, that is correct. Why am I zoomed in? Hello? Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's the random stuff. Like, it just straight, goes straight through Endure. Like, what? Oh, shit. I'm not paying attention. I've got eight stacks of poison on me just deleting me. <laughs> Better cleanse that shit. I was going to wait till my mana got up a little higher. Yeah, what are we doing next? Could be more snacks. Not yet. A little bit, very soon. <laughs> okay, where's she going? Snacks? S no. Yeah, snacks. Mm hmm. We just gotta know when she does her little twirly dance. Oh my god, okay, it's these walls. You gotta get away from the walls. And stay where the grass yeah. is. I, I just kind of stand in a little bit. And, uh, it, you know, oh god, I got hit once. I broke it up. Uh, okay, so basic over here giving us the actual statistics. Um, she does like a thousand percent more damage if you have enough stacks of poison. Oh, well, yeah. So it's like, if you have enough poison, she'll just one-shot you. Juno, where are you going? <laughs> where are you? Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Wait. Get that poison off. Don't like that. Yeah, they came out with a monster that cleans cleanses like everything. Boy. <laughs> Isn't that Bellagel? Bellagel? Does he do that? Doesn't he? I don't know. I have to go check. Maybe he would be OP here. But I don't think he heals, though. No, he does not. He so, does that would not be good. But yeah, Vela is two debuffs, which is basically all of them in this game, it seems like. Every debuff. Run away! Oh, Veramos removes all. And Light Dean. He's an LD Nat 5. Both the LD Nat 5s do what we want. Yikes, oh. Snex. Oh. Guys, yeah. heal me. Yeah, I'm popping a cleanse. Uh, you're on the other side, I can't. No, I'm talking to my Juno, right? Oh. <laughs> Don't go where I can't follow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, Helia is definitely up on our damage here a bit. Yeah. Okay, is she about to go down or what's she gonna do? I oh, know, just this. OK, 
Okay, she's doing doors. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know Windu and Dean does a lot. I think she's going to be one day like the Toa Clear God because she strips, she heals, she cleanses. She does like. Yeah, she does like literally everything. But she's not particularly good at any one thing, but she'd be good for just like autoing TOA when one day it allows us to do that. You know, kind of like got imagine, it. Imagine autoing TOA. No. You didn't know you're a part time babysitter now. Can you imagine? Oh. Yikes. Time for this, this nonsense. Yikes. We. We. We in here. We in it to win it, boys. We in it deep. Do you know? Why are you running? Ow. I have to wiggle a lot and tell my people to come back. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. It's Argon Spam time. That's right. Right, usually last. Oh god, I died. Finish, <laughs> Finish him. I knew I should have babysat Juno. <laughs> just had to. You just had to do it. I did. I'm like, <laughs> damage bar. Still no gear. Zero gear.